The following may not be appropriate for all audiences. I don't know which sounds better. You mean you doing your dumb voice? Thank you, everyone, for joining us here on the Low Fact Podcast. Matt and Dave, and that is in order of unimportance. <laughs> you mean we're both unimportant? Or I'm more unimportant? Whichever makes you feel better. Uh, cause, because both of those statements just happen to be true. Really? Truly. So somehow we got to talking about homelessness last time. That's okay. probably my, my fault. Well, we can talk about it more. Because homelessness is something I observe on a daily basis in the city I live in. I think homelessness is probably something that most people that listen to our podcast have observed uh, first person. Right. It's pro- it's It's... Kind of like a virus. Okay, you're gonna to have to explain that. Well, I just mean it's it seems to have gotten worse and worse, and there is no treatment in sight. And the question in my mind, and this is something we've talked about a little bit, because it's something that's it's got significantly worse in the last, I would say, four years. I believe that the pre- the seeming prevalence or increased prevalence of homelessness. Than California. Especially in our locality, is something that has been engineered. Then you don't, you, well, yeah. I don't necessarily think it's worse. I think that people, it's because it's being noticed more often, for whatever reason. And I do, I do think that there is, a, there is an actual political reason for it, which I believe is really kind of unfair to the people that need the help. So they're deliberately letting things go to pot, go to, what's the word, get worse. I think that there is a deliberate, there's a concerted effort to make it seem like. Because it doesn't, the thing that doesn't compute is if, because the, and you know, I I have my doubts about whether or not the economy is really better. I believe it, it is not. It doesn't feel like it is here. But people keep saying the economy is good, the economy is stronger, there's more jobs. And, you know, jobs reports, and they keep saying, wasn't there something last, there was like something in the press last week that said that like it was the best jobs report in 20 years, or th- it was something, something amaz- amazing about how oh, it was. A, it, it was, a, it was, a, it was the, the number was better than, than, than the whole time this statistic has been tracked. That's the thing you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, and in small print, they say it's been tracked for the last six years. Oh. I thought it was longer. No. Um, the thing you're talking about is not. Um, so what would be the reason? The reason would be to get more money for programs, maybe. I'm not going to speculate on what the reason is. I'm just, my my conclusion, my gut feeling is things that were once kind of swept under the rug has not been swept for an actual purpose. What that purpose is, I have no idea. And it's, I feel like it really, there's a lot of people who are frustrated about the situation. It's regular people. I believe that's also people living in this neighborhood are like, you know, it's not, you know, there's, it's unsafe. There's people, there's people all people over running. the world like that. And I also believe that is also on purpose. To get, to get people frustrated. Well, one of the things that, has been uh, a goal of governments pretty much since the Nazis in Germany is mass manipulation. And that is something that I see governments, including ours, kind of really honing in on since the middle 20th century. So last... Like since the 50s? Last 80 years or so. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, last 80, 60 to 80 years has been the, the, the mass manipulation of a people, or in the context of the world and different world governments, a peoples. I, I believe that the mass manipulation is something that's been in, the, in a government's interest since the beginning of government. But the tools to really perfect that was really kind of pioneered by... Joseph Goebbels. And I don't understand how G-O-E-D 
G O E B B B L S goes Gur. <laughs> Wouldn't that be Gobbles? Or Geobles? I don't know. Like a fucking turkey. Gobble gobble gobble. But that's that's kind of what I what I see. And Are you little, talking about propaganda? Well, propaganda is actually kind of a Catholic thing. At the that's where the expression comes from. Turn of the first century. Is it a Latin AD. term? Since I don't know, I'm gonna say yeah. It probably is. But you know, propaganda has come to be defined as a as a negative thing. But propaganda is really trying to give out information with the point of view. Now, the point of view might be bad. That doesn't necessarily mean that the propaganda, that propaganda in general, is bad. Because everything has to have a point of view. Not necessarily. But, yes. <laughs> so, now, so, wait, wait. So, so, so now, going back to what I'm trying to say, if you want to make your your masses your plebs which i am solidly a part of i am a pleb uh, no matter what anybody says to me or thinks about it i am a, i'm about as plebeian, plebeian as you can get now granted i am more educated than most people in the united states but that still doesn't mean i have any kind of power or insider status i am you know as far as the as far as the people in power are concerned i'm about as much I'm basically a pawn. I was going to say a gnat. Okay. If you want to make me an animate object, I'm I'm basically an insect. Mm -hmm. Who by myself can't really do anything. But me and all my other insect brethren together might be able to do something. Because of voting? No, because of just numbers. Right. Because there's so many more of you. Exactly. Well, so insects is a pretty good analogy then. Yeah, I suppose. Now I'm not I'm not any in, I'm not an insect with any kind of verb. <laughs> king of the the queen bee the king bee. Well, there is no king bee, so yeah, at this point I would be the queen bee. But that being a queen being a queen bee does not seem like it's a very great existence to me. No. So the way to the way to control me and the people like me is to make sure that we don't necessarily think straight to the extent that we can think, organize to the extent that we can organize, or do anything to the extent that that could happen. And so it is the role of propaganda to, you know, what is what is what are the, some of the favorite terms that get thrown out? Divide and conquer. Um, you know, okay, so there's only one term that I can think about. <laughs> That's good enough. But, you know, if you want, if you think about if you think about it, the desire is to keep us from thinking straight. So what's the best way to get to keep us from thinking straight? Get us scared. Get us angry. Get us frustrated. Because I don't know about anybody else listening, but I know for damn sure that if I'm scared, I'm not thinking straight. If I'm frustrated, I'm not thinking straight. If I'm angry, I'm definitely not thinking straight. But, you, but people use frustration to start movements all the time, too. Yeah, but that... That, you know, I can solve your, look to me, I'll, uh, I'll solve your frustration. Right, but that's... I have the answer to your frustration. That's a person trying to amass power. Different. What do you mean different? Different from div the divide and conquer with three frustration. Well, no, not at all. I mean, if, if, you, can, if, you, if you have a, a populace of 300 million people and you get, you get like 100 groups or a thousand groups that are all kind of in their own little vein, in their own little silo, yeah. disliking all the other groups. If I'm the puppet master on top, I'm having a good time. Nothing's going to happen. Well, it's a lot easier to, to kind of weed out hundreds or thousands of people at a time. And for those of you who can't see, which is basically everyone outside this room, I'm waving my hands like I'm swatting away small insects. <laughs> It's easier to do that than it is to try and mess with 300 million. Oh, yeah. Shit, or even like tens of millions. You know? Yeah, exactly. So, I don't know where we've started. We've ended up somewhere completely different. 
I don't know where we ended up either, which I think is just fine. But there it is. Yes, I believe that there is a concerted effort to uh, kind of keep us from thinking straight. And so, and I can't just say, hey, everybody, start thinking straight. No, well, I find it that simple. It Unfortunately, it is. <laughs> but it's, it's an unsatisfying answer. And I will leave... <laughs> With the my, my favorite quote so from one of my favorite movies, The Thirteenth Warrior, where Antonio Banderas's character is handed a sword, and his statement is, "This sword is too heavy. I can't lift this." And the response from the warrior Viking is, "Grow stronger." <laughs> uh, you can find us on Twitter. Instagram at Lofat Podcast. Uh, you can email us. Please email us, lofatpodcast at gmail.com, or you can just search Lofat Podcast and find us on Stitcher, iTunes, and uh, YouTube, or wherever else you pick up your feed. Thank you. <laughs>